Welcome to Word Factory. This is a factory style automation game, but instead of building products or items, you're building words out of letters. Let's go ahead and get into the tutorial levels so we can see how this works. Ready to build letters? It's as easy as, number one, place your I factory. All right, I'm gonna click and drag and place down an I factory over here. Number two, connect the orange node on your factory to the blue node on the purple bin up here and then click play to run your factory and produce the letter I all right so it's sending the letter I up to this block up here and it is spitting out what are these I don't know but I guess we beat the level all right that's the letter I let's keep going from the humble letter I we can build the entire alphabet Let's use a bender to bend the letter I into the letter C. Pl place both factories. All right, oh, I like how this swings around. All right, let's place the bender. Connect the I factory's red node to the bender's blue node. So I'm guessing that the orange node, or I guess red node is the output and blue is the input. All right, let's see how this works. So the eyes go up into the bender, which bends them into a C shape. All right, very cool. And here come the C's out in the right. All right, letter C, let's keep moving on. Mergers let you join letters together to form new letters. Mergers can only produce complete letters that are right side up. For example, they will not create partial or upside down letters. Also, the order you connect letters to a merger does not matter. Okay, so if I connect two eyes to this merger, I guess it will smash them together. Let's see how this works. So the eyes come in and it merges them into the letter V. Okay, I like this. It's like taking the physical shape of the letters and combining them to make the other letters. That's pretty creative. Maybe we can save space by using just one I factory. By the way, you can delete buildings and lines by right clicking. So I can delete, or I can move with control click. All right, very cool. So let's put down a merger and it wants us to just use one I factory. So I'm guessing I can just send this to both inputs. So is it gonna, maybe it'll send one to the right, then one to the left or something like that. Oh, yep, it looks like that's what it's doing. So it splits the output. That's nice that it'll just automatically split it half and half. I wonder if you had it going three ways, if it would split it three ways evenly as well. All right, and there's the letter V again. Rotators rotate letters. Imagine that. Rotators come in two varieties, counterclockwise and clockwise. We can chain operations together to create more complicated letters and maybe one day entire words. All right, so let's take the I and we will rotate it and that will go into here. We're trying to build the letter L. So if we have a vertical I with a horizontal L then, or a horizontal I and merge those together, that should make an L. So let's send one eye going up into the merger and then we'll rotate the other eye and merge those two together. Take the output and put it up into our output block. And there we go. There's the letter L being produced. <laughs> I like how it shoots these things just onto the screen. Okay. The letter O reflectors mirror letters horizontally or vertically. Okay. Let's put these down where it's asking us to here. So what, what's happening here? The eye goes into the uh, bender, which will bend it into a C shape. And then we need to make the letter O. So if we send one C up into the merger and then mirror the other C horizontally, then that'll give us both halves of the O. So let's try that. And there it goes, gets mirrored and merged into an O. Nice. Okay, letter O. And it looks like that's all of the tutorial levels. So let's get started with the first real level. Letter A. Tip dark mode. I have 
One step ahead of you, I already got it on. Oh, and just a reminder, mergers can only create complete letters that are right side up. They will not create partial or upside down letters. Okay. Okay, so we have to start with the letter I. And we're trying to get the letter A. Let's think about how we might do this. We had done the letter V previously by merging together two I's. Oh, what is this? Does this merge three things together? Oh, that's cool. Let's experiment with this merger. What if we were to take the letter I as one side, we'll take another letter I as the other side. Can I move this? Nice. And then we will do one more I going into the middle. What happens if we try this? Oh, that makes the letter N. That's not what we're looking for. Okay, so that's not gonna work. What if we tried making the letter V first and then rotating it upside down so we have like the top of the A and then merging that with a horizontal I. So let's take an I here. We'll send one here, one there. We'll take another I. Send it here and here. Well, that's a bit unnecessary. This should be the letter V coming out of here. And then let's make a horizontal I. And let's rotate the V twice. And maybe we try merging it with the I. Let's see what happens here. So we get our horizontal I's, get our upside down V, and there we go. There's our A's. Very cool. And we can speed this up. All right, there's the A. Hip letter previews. Hover over a building to see a preview of what letter it will produce. It looks like we need to make both zeros and x's so we remember how to make zeros or i said zero o the letter o we need to merge together a two c's but we need to mirror one of them so this needs to be a horizontal mirror and then that should be the o's Let's just make sure Yep, that gives us O's, but we also need X's. What if we were to do V's, a normal V and an upside down V and merge those? Or better yet, a vertical reflection should work, right? So let's do a V. If we take two I's and merge them together, Let's get a upside down V. Oh, that just mirrors it like that. Horizontal. Okay, I see how this works. Well, if that's the case, then let's try merging these two together. See if that makes our X's. So we got I's coming through the merger. They should make a V. The V comes through here and gets reflected and then it should get merged. Yeah, there we go, there's the X. I wonder how many of each we need. Oh, does the O, do you need, what is this? I don't really understand what it's trying to do. Ox, oh, O-X, ox. It's a little oxen. Oh, it's, it's, you have to make an actual word, I see. And then here it produces the whatever the word represents. So these are little oxen. Okay, I'm starting to get it. Sticker book. So we got a sticker. All right, let's keep moving on. Ivy. All right, well, the I is pretty easy. The V, we know how to do a V. A V is just the two I's merged together. So we will 
go ahead and do that. Two V's merged together should give us, or two I's merged together gives us V. And then a Y, looks like we'll need an, a V mixed with a I. So if we take one of these V's and merge it with an I here, I think that'll give us a Y. Let's try this. We'll need to speed it up because we don't have that many I's. Yep, that works. There's our Y's coming through. We take the V and then smash the I underneath it to make a Y. And here we go. We got IV. Let's speed this up again. Very cool. Next level. Tip. Tricky letters. T is a tricky letter. A couple pointers for you. Remember that mergers can only produce complete right side up letters. It doesn't matter what order you collect letters to a merger. Okay, let's take a look. We already know how to make a C and an A, so let's do the T first since we don't know how to do that yet. I'm thinking that we will need to rotate an I and then can we merge it with a, oh, that's not gonna work because that gives us a L. Let's take the L, rotate it to the right and then merge it with a, I think we're gonna have to rotate the L to the right and then merge it with one of these rotated eyes here, like this. Let's see if that makes our T's. Okay, so the eyes come through, they get rotated, we make the L's, I was going to here, and that's a question mark, so that means it failed. So, that's not working. Oh, wait a second. What if we rotate this once more? Hold on. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Let's rotate this one more time. How about? So, what if this actually goes here instead and that goes there? So, we rotate it twice. Let's see what happens. All right, so the L's go through here, get rotated again, and now they merge. All right, there's the T. Okay, so now we just gotta do the C and the A, which we did in previous levels, so that shouldn't be too hard. All right, let's see this go. And there's C, A, and T. We are making cats. Very cool. I like how you really had to think about the T there. All right, and we've added the cat to the sticker book. All right, well, I'm really liking this game so far. Let's just check our recipes here. You can see all of the uh, levels you've completed. You can see all the recipes, how you make the different shapes that you figured out and it looks like there's multiple recipes for each letter so there'll be different ways of making them in our sticker book we can see all of the words that we've created and you can see that here as well all right very cool let me know if you like this uh, i think this is a really creative clever game i've never thought of a automation game building words before so this is really cool. I like it. All right. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time.